so glad you're here today. I've got a story about a girl named Amy and her mom. Now, Amy was a teenager. I don't know what I did say. I just said she was a teenager, someplace like 14, 15 years old. And her mother was a little bit concerned about it because she didn't think that Amy really loved Jesus. And so they were going to go grocery shopping, and she thought, when we're in the car, I'll put some music on the, in on the car about Jesus. Maybe she'll want to know more about Jesus. Well, they were in the kitchen. They walked out of the kitchen, down into the garage, to go to the grocery store. And here was Amy's dad. And he's looking up at the ceiling of the garage. And he's looking and looking. Amy said, Daddy, what are you looking at? He said, look up there. It's a hummingbird. He's been up there for half an hour, and I can't get him to come down and fly out that wide open garage door. He just keeps flying around. I keep trying to chase him down. He won't come down. Oh, no. What are we going to do? Amy said, you know what? Hummingbirds like fruit juice. I think I'll go in the house. I'll get some peach juice. I'll put it in a little dish, and we'll put it out on the garage out there on the cement by the door, and maybe he'll come down, get the juice, and then he'll fly away. So she did. Didn't do any good. He just kept flying around, around, around up there by the ceiling. Once in a while he'd come and sit on that little bar there for the garage door opener, and then he'd go and fly around. And he said, you know what? Hummingbirds like flowers. She ran out to the garden and she picked a big, beautiful blossom from the peony bush and she brought it in. Oh, she held it up there and held it up there and held it up there and held it up there. Oh, my heart's getting so tired. And wouldn't come down. Just kept flying around up there. What are we going to do? Well, Mom and Dad and Amy were standing there by the wall. They had a pegboard on the wall with their snowsuits on. Do you know what a snowsuit is? <laughs> they lived in Massachusetts and in the wintertime they had to wear snowsuits. Yeah, well, yeah, so you know what I mean. Well, this was summertime, so they didn't need those snowsuits, so they were hanging on the wall there in the garage. And they were standing there by the snowsuits. Amy said, you know what? I think we should pray. Well, Mom, she said, pray. She was surprised that Amy would say that. And she said, I didn't even think of that myself. So she said, yeah, Amy, why don't you pray? So Amy said a prayer, and she asked, Dear Jesus, please help us to get this poor little hummingbird down with us so we can go fly outside. Okay. We kept flying around up there. We waited about 45 seconds. We kept flying around. Another 30 seconds. And then you know what? That little hummingbird came down, landed on one of those snowsuits, and slid down. Amy put out her hand and caught him, put her other hand over top of him very gently, and walked him outside, opened her hands, and away he flew. <laughs> Jesus was hearing their prayer answered for that little hummingbird to get out of the garage. Isn't that wonderful? God is so good. Even for the smallest things, he hears our prayer, doesn't he? Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we love you so much, and we thank you so much for all you do for us. Even the smallest little things, you hear our prayer, and you answer according to your will, if it's good and your plan. We just thank you for your love and care. Dear God, we love you, and we thank you for all your blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.